So I just turned 25. I have 2000 and 2001 kids calling me boomer, calling me uncle. What the ones born in their early 90s tell me how young I still am. You know, there are some things that tell me that I'm getting older. First off, I got myself a fanny pack. Best purchase I've made this year. I'm starting to hear some cracks in my knees as well. <laughs> And pretty soon, I'll probably be using my phone like this as well. You know how our parents do it with their reading glasses and... I think growing up, I never would have imagined what it was like hitting mid-20. You know what it's like? You feel like you could be a youth forever. It sounds really stupid, but you will never think or look forward to hitting 25 years old. When you're a dumb kid playing Kirby on your Game Boy every night. When you were a teenager with an obvious distaste for fitness and probably an addiction to YouTube. Or even when you were a young adult. When it felt like you could take on the whole world with your dreams and energy paired with a naive idealism that hasn't been shattered by life just yet. Looking back, I don't think the 8-year-old me or the 15-year-old me or even the 21-year-old me could picture the person I am right now. I'm sure this story would feel familiar to you. Back in secondary school, 14 years old, low self-esteem, hated how I looked, insecure, not too popular with the ladies, not too many close friends either. You get the picture, it really wasn't my peak. Fast forward a decade later, big dick energy, through the roof, love how I look, accepted myself for who I am, no longer insecure, became more mature, still not the most popular with the ladies. But that doesn't matter. Or does it? So, what does it feel like now that I just hit 25? Is this weird area where you're mature enough to not make the mistakes that you made in your early 20s? At the same time, you feel like you're not adulted enough and there's still so many things that you're navigating and are just unsure about. Is this limbo transitionary phase where you've figured out who you are, you know the general direction that you want to head towards, yet you're still lost in some regard because it feels like stepping into a whole new world of being a full-fledged adult. You're sort of happy with life, content with yourself, but not really satisfied. You're past the point of thinking about drama that might have come from school. You don't have the mental capacity or energy to give to drama. Things that might have excited you when you were 21 might not excite you anymore. Putting an all-nighter to have drinks, clubbing throughout the night, and then having breakfast before the first train started. This could be before an 8am class in the morning. That used to be fun, but now, I just want to tuck in at midnight and have a good 8 hours of sleep. I used to be able to play Overwatch for 6 hours straight, but now, an hour will be a long gaming session for me already. I honestly think that I would prefer to do some laundry instead. So what are some of the worries I face? Okay, so you see everyone in your age group moving forward and there's always this fear of being left behind in some way. You feel happy for them, but I would be lying if I said I wasn't jealous as well. You see a handful of people your age starting to get married, getting their BTOs, buying cars, starting businesses. Not everyone, but just enough for you to feel a little uneasy. I heard it gets worse at 30. And I am here, more single than ever, not anywhere close to financially supporting myself, let alone having a plan to afford a house in the future. Working towards all of this, but it's still not present right now. I have said it before to stop comparing yourself to others and that you're not falling behind. Everyone lives life at their own pace. But on a subconscious level, it does happen comparing yourself to someone that's objectively ahead of you in life. I would think it's very normal for you to have these thoughts about comparing yourself to other people, no matter how much you try not to. Then this leads to a spiral where you think you're not doing enough and you feel like you should be achieving more at your age because of these arbitrary milestones most people got to in the past like getting married at 27 or having a kid by 30 it artificially creates this mad rush to adult as quickly as possible because you feel like you're running out of time to achieve that which sounds so stupid because we're only halfway through our 20s and you know there are certain cases where it might make sense having kids later in your life is more dangerous for women perhaps you have a financial need to sustain your family ASAP but in most cases I think a lot of us just feel this stress that's mostly self-inflicted because of the need to rush through life. Okay, so what are some of the things that I've learned? Drama is so pointless. It sucks up your time and offers nothing in return. In the grand scheme of things, drama is really so small. You really have so many other things to deal with other than drama. If you don't love yourself, you won't know how to receive love. Anger is a choice. It really is. You know, I could choose to get pissed off at that snarky comment someone gave me in the morning and let it ruin my day. Or I can choose to be indifferent to it and just get on with my life. You can't change someone. The most that you can really do is to support them instead. Chances are 
they wouldn't change until they have an epiphany moment. And most times it happens when they are hurt hard enough or they are finally tired of the things that they have put up with over the years when they finally have a realization that they hurt someone they cared about. You know, at some point, these people will stop complaining about their circumstances, you know, making noise about their failed relationships, how much they hate their life. Or they stop complaining about how shitty their childhood upbringing is and they stop complaining about how broken their past relationships made them. And those people that actually undergo true change, they'll put their head down, they'll put in the silent but consistent effort to actually improve their lives. Instead of just parading around the idea that they want to get better, actions over words. People love saying this, but most don't practice what they preach. You also learn that people come and go. You might outgrow old friends, but new ones will come in to fill that spot. And that's okay. It really doesn't diminish the experience you had with your older friends. The number of friends you have might dwindle, but you'll find a more deeper and meaningful connection with the ones that stay. And on a brighter note, you also learn that things will eventually get better. No matter what kind of hurt you're in, feelings fade over time. They come and go. And when you finally find yourself, you love who you are and accepted who you have become. That's when life starts to get truly fun. And that's when you really start living. And that's when you start to flourish. You know, there are still a lot of things that I myself am trying to navigate. Should I take a leap of faith and work on a personal venture at the risk of financial failure and probably more stress? In turn for more fulfillment, in what I'm doing and better financial returns in the future? Or should I go with that stability and take a 9 to 6 job? With the relative security of a monthly income, with clearer boundaries between work and life, I think, at the expense of foregoing my dreams for a later time and lesser freedom, do I go for short-term dating, which is something I haven't really done throughout my life? Or do I start looking for a partner to settle down with? These are just some of the small dilemmas I have. It's a scary but exciting period of time. And I guess there's nothing much else for me to say besides, um, Happy birthday to those born on 19 January, including me. That's it for the video. Do leave us up. Help me hit 10k subscribers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hopefully I graduate this year, lah.